Okay, so, so far I went ahead and just primered this. Um, today we're just going to be customizing my engine bay cover. Um, it's going to be painted black, which it was already black, but it was like faded black. So it's going to be like a dark black. And each one of those little rectangles, squares, are going to be red, as well as my 3500 V6 will be red as well. Um, like I said, all I went ahead and did was primered. Um, I'll show you in a minute how exactly I did it. Um, so next we're going to go ahead and spray paint the whole thing black. Um, and then we'll worry about the next step. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to use some black spray paint. I'll go ahead and paint it. Um, now when you go to paint, you just want to kind of easily do this. Um, basically just, well, first spray a few times, get that out of the way. Okay, now, there it goes. Now your first layer is going to be light. You're going to see a lot of primer still. Your first layer isn't going to get it all. I can't really see because the light. The sun's shining right down on my screen. Okay, that's the first coat. Like I said, you're gonna see a lot of gray. Um, as the coats go, it'll be dark. Um, I didn't worry about masking that off because it doesn't have a color. Um, for a car that would have, such as like a BMW, would have a BMW logo there. You would want to mask something like that off. Um, this doesn't have a Pontio, Pontiac logo. So I ain't really worried about masking anything off. We'll just go over later. But, okay. So you just do that with the coats until it's all black. Or whatever color of your choice. Um, so I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so. Got the black done. Don't look too bad. Still a little bit wet. So we have to wait a minute. Um... Okay, so now that the black's done, I'm going to go in, mask off the parts, so I'm going to gonna mask off everything but the parts I'm painting next. Okay, so I'm going to mask off all the black other than the squares, and then the 3500B6, and then we'll work on the next step. So, basically, mask off everything once it's dry, other than what you want painted. So, we'll do that now okay so got all that masked off I know it looks like a giant mess but got it all masked off so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over it with primer um, shake it up you don't want to put paint on paint you just kind of want to stick to primer always so again you're gonna do it layer by layer and this is sides want to blow up, so I'm just gonna set that there. Okay, you kind of just want to do it layer by layer, and we'll okay. Now we'll give it a few minutes, and I'll skip all this part, and I'll get back to you when the primer is done. Okay, so now the primer is dry. We are ready for the paint. Now I'm using red for mine. Again, you can use any that you want. Um, again, layer it as always. Okay. I'll let it dry, put another layer on it, let it dry, another layer. Um, 
depending on what it looks like at the third layer we'll determine if there is going to be a fourth layer or not um, I will get back to you all when this part's done okay so we're almost done now we're gonna add our third layer clear coat um, clear coat is just in a good protection layer on anything that you use so now that the red is dry we will do probably two layers of clear coat missing you can kind of get it on this thick without having to worry about it running too much just again layers always makes everything look better okay well I will show you all the finished touch okay so just gotta get some more tape off and some more of that off but other than that everything went well got a little piece of tape there gotta get off um, I ain't gonna do this one on camera but that's how you do it. Hope this video helped.